welcome to Excellence Academy. For today, we'll be dealing with isomerism. By definition, isomerism is the existence of two or more hydrocarbons with the same molecular formula but different structural formula. Usually, isomers exhibit the same chemical properties but slightly different physical properties due to their physical structures or physical arrangement. When it comes to the types of isomers, there are three types of isomers. The first The first type of isomer or isomerism is known as functional isomers. Or let's use the word functional isomerism. Functional isomerism occurs when two or more hydrocarbons have the same molecular formula but different functional group. So when it comes to functional isomerism, the difference there is in their functional group. Example, um, ethanol and methoxymethane. Ethanol is this, of course, um, for ETH, I'm expecting two carbon atoms. For it to be an alkanol, it must have an OH. Then if I complete this, it becomes H and H here. That makes it one, two, three, four. This carbon is having one, two, three, and four. So this compound right here is ethanol. Let's consider methoxymethane. For methoxymethane, here's your formula. This is the formula for methoxymethane. All right. So this is methoxymethane. All right, so we are saying these two are functional isomers or they exhibit functional isomerism. Why? Because they have the same molecular formula. For ethanol, if I should count the total number of carbon atoms here, for ethanol, I have one, two. So carbon is C2, two carbon atoms. If I should count the total number of hydrogen atoms, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So it gives you H6. And then I have just one oxygen. So this is like my total molecular formula. For ethanol, I have two carbon, six hydrogen, and one oxygen. For methoxymethane, if I count the total number of carbon I have here, it's one, two. So that's like C2H. Count your total number of hydrogen atoms. I'm having one, two, three, four, five, six, H6, and then of course, one oxygen. So if you observe, both ethanol and methoxymethane, methoxymethane, both have um, two carbon atoms, six hydrogen atoms, and an oxygen atom. So they have the same molecular formula. Why they are, fun why they are functional isomers? Because they have different functional group. For instance, for the ethanol, the functional group here is OH, making it to be an alkanol. Why for methoxymethane here, yeah? the functional group here is ORO, making it to be an ether. So this is why they are functional isomers. Okay, the same molecular formula, but different functional group. So this is the first type of um, isomerism we have. The second type of isomerism we have is known as chain isomerism. So my number two type of isomerism is chain isomerism. All right, for chain isomerism, they have the same molecular formula. They also have the same functional group, but they have different arrangement of atoms in space. For instance, compounds that exhibit chain isomerism include butane and 2-methylpropane. All right, so I have butane, I have 2-methylpropane. So consider these two compounds. Um, let's look at butane, for instance. For a boot, I'll have four carbon atoms. 
So this becomes one, two, three, and four. Make this an our king. This is one, two, three, and four. This one is one, two, three, and four. This is one, one, two, three, and four. Here is one, two, three, and four. So this is my butin album. This is butin. Um, this is butin. Next up, get the um, two methyl grouping. For a propane, I'm having three atoms, three carbon atoms. For two methyl, it means that the methyl group, that CH3, is attached to carbon two. Balance this up. This is having one, two, three, four. This one is having one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. So I'm having this um, for my two methyl propane. Alright, count the total number of this is 2 methyl, by the way. 2 methyl protein. Combine these two like this. Right, that's more like it. So count the total number of carbon here. I'm having 1, 2, 3, 4. This is C4. Count hydrogen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 10 hydrogen atoms. For this, count the number of carbon here. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is C4. Count total number of hydrogen. 1, 2, 3, 3, here, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm having H10. So we have the same molecular formula C4, H10. Let's look at your functional group. Obviously, for this one here, oh, let's look at your functional group. Okay, obviously, for this one here, this is a single bond for butane. I have single bond. That's the functional group. That means it's an alkane. For these two, if you look at this structure, this is single bond trap. So this one too is also single bond. That makes it an alkane. So both butane and two methyl propane are both um, alkane since they have single bond. So for these two compounds, they have the same molecular formula, but different. Uh, they have the same molecular formula. They have the same functional group. What's the difference? The difference is in the arrangement. For butane, I have the carbon being arranged in a straight fast like this, such that all the carbon atoms are linked to each other. While for two methyl propane, um, the arrangement is that only three links to each other like this. All right. So only three links directly. This one is um, outside um, the connection of the carbon atoms. So that's why it's a chain isomerism. Or this is why they are chain isomers. That chain isomers because they have the same molecular formula, the same functional group, but different arrangement of the atoms in space. So this is the second type of isomers, or perhaps second type of isomerism that exists. Look at the third and final type of isomerism that we can get. The third type of isomers or isomerism that exists is known as geometric isomerism. Geometric isomerism is the existence of two or more hydrocarbons with the same molecular formula but are not identical due to the difference in the spatial arrangement of the component atom. When it comes to geometric isomerism or geometric isomers, there are two types of geometric isomers. The first one is known as the cis, and the second one is known as the trans. So we have cis and trans type of geometric isomers. All right, so I'll take um, some examples and illustrate this. If I have a compound such as this, Um, something of this nature. Alright, and I have a compound also of this nature. Now, if you look at this and this, they are almost alike, but there are some differences, or there's a difference. The major difference between this compound here and this one is that for this particular compound here, the alkyl group, that's this and this, being methyl, 
they are tied loop are like in the same plane. So you can see here, why for this, for this particular compound here, they are tied group are like they are opposite, um, they are opposite to each other. Alright? So when you have a case where they are tied group are in the same plane, whether downwards or upwards, in this case, what you have here is a cis. So this is known as cis. Cis what? Count longest continuous carbon chain. This is one, two, three, four. Four is boot. So it becomes six boot. Boot because I have four carbon atoms. Next up, I will count from this way here. Um, usually, this is an alkene. Alright? Alkene because it has double bond. And usually, when it comes to alkene, it's necessary that you show the position of the double bond in your, in your naming. Alright? If I count this way, this is carbon one, two. Hence, double bond occurs at carbon two. If I count this way, this is one, two. Hence, double bond occurs at carbon two. So this becomes six boot two and then in. In because it has double bond being an alkene. So the in is for alkene. This case here, where the substituents are in opposite positions, is called a trans. So this is called a trans. Count the total number of carbon atoms. One, two, three, four. So it becomes four is a boot. So it becomes trans boot. Um, locate the position of the double bond. This is one, two. Double bond is at carbon two. Locate this way I'm having one, two. Double bond is at carbon two. So it becomes trans boot two in. In because it has a double bond. So this is the technique of um, naming geometric isomers. We'll take one more example and we're done with this. Geometric isomerism and then we'll end with this. All right, let's say I have compounds such as this. Carbon, double bonded to carbon. Use an alkyl group, let's say this time, until okay, I have this one here. Um, so I use propyl, for instance, then bring hydrogen this way, and then bring hydrogen this way. Let's say I have something up again here, this, um, this way, um, call this C4. H9, that's propyl. This one here, CH3, that's methyl. Let's try to name these two geometric isomers, or these compounds that exhibit geometric isomerism. Um, these are not exactly isomers, though. They're not exactly the same uh, kind of isomers, though. But we're just trying to see if we can. Okay, yeah. So let's try to name this compound. For this now, I'm having um, case one. This is a trans system. It's trans because the alkyl groups are actually opposite each other. That becomes trans. Trans. Next up, get total number of carbon atoms. Two carbon atoms here. This is two, three, four, four plus three here. I have three carbons here, so four plus three gives you seven. Seven is hex, so I'm having trans hex. Next up, show the position of the double bond here. If I count this way, this is carbon one, two, three. So if I move this way, I'll have three carbon atoms before my double bond. If I move this other way, I'm having carbon three, three plus one, four. So this way gives me three carbon atoms before the double bond. This one gives you four carbon atoms before the double bond. I'll go with the least number. Between three and four, the least number here is three. So I'll go with hex. Three is an alkene for having double bond. This is called trans hex, three in. Now to name this compound here, this is four, five, six, one here, seven, right? But case one, is this a cis or trans system? It's a cis. Cis because the, um, our kind groups here are in the same plane, although it's downward, but they are in the same plane. So we call cis, so this is called cis, cis. Total, total number of carbon atoms here is four, five, six, plus one, seven. So cis, hex, hex, um, get, the, get the position of the double bond. This is four, four here, plus one gives you five. I have four carbon atoms here plus one gives you five. So counting this way, from left this way, it's five. 
If I count this, so this is just one carbon here, so it becomes one plus one here too. So if I move this way here, I have five carbon atoms before the double bond. If I move this way, I have two carbon atoms before the double bond. So I'll go with the list, which is two, because trans has two in. So this is how you name geometric isomers, trans and cis.